Rob Summers has been confined to a wheelchair since a 2006 hit and run accident that left him unable to move from the mid chest on down. But a new training technique now allows him to stand and even take a few steps for several hours each day. His progress, thanks to an electrical nerve stimulator implanted in the lining of his spinal cord one and a half years ago. The device, which is usually used to relieve pain, was adapted to access the circuits of the patient's nervous system. In order to get the spinal cord to a um, physiological state where it can function in order to stand or step, we needed to stimulate those neurons. When the stimulator is turned on, a panel of 16 electrodes reactivates the nerves, allowing Summers to move his muscles. It took the once promising baseball player seven months of intensive locomotor training, which involves relearning lost muscle activity to achieve progress once believed impossible. Being able to, to move my toes, ankles, knees on command, um, it was absolutely incredible. I mean, words, there, there are not enough words to describe how I felt. At one point it was just a dream and, and now it's reality and, and now I'm taking literally the, the next step. And ultimately even running on his own. Doctors say the advance could be quickly applied to help 10 to 15 percent of all paraplegic patients who suffer complete motor loss. And they say it offers hope to others crippled by stroke, Parkinson's disease, and other neurological disabilities. Tom Ackerman, Al Jazeera.